<laughs> we still making a lot of mental errors with the basketball down the stretch. Still a lot of cleanup detail, but I, I like their energy today. Um, even when we had the 10 point lead at halftime, went in and just black luster, not focused. Jamie had some um, missed opportunities that she should have made. Uh, I thought defensively we were letting them get too deep in the lane. Uh, subbed her out. Um, I thought Shell had a monster game, uh, both offensively and defensively. I think her best game of the year. Second best half, second half? Yeah, she, she rebounding and just being tough on defense. I thought she, she was definitely the difference tonight. Um, <laughs> Y'all are up like nine or whatever. It looks like it's about to kind of go like that to close it out. On which play? Oh, I, I mean, I'm just the whole run. The you know, turn over here, turn over there, mess a shot, and before you know it, it's a three-point ball game. What do you, what do you say? Or, or do you just go like this because it's the end of the regular season? And well, I think uh, we got to look at the tape and we got to sit down and tell them about, for instance, like one, we shot the basketball, we missed the shot, crashed the boys, we got the rebound. Then we shot it again. Right. It was like a minute, 13 seconds, and I'm looking like, what are you thinking? Instead of reset. Reset. Yeah. You know, uh, they got to understand where the value is. The value is in moving the clock as opposed to scoring the basket. So they got to learn that. I mean, um, you know, we've been doing a better job of teaching and staying focused on one thing at a time, trying to get them to get in rhythm and understand exactly what our needs are. Uh, you know, hey. Um, I'll take the win. Kendra feel like kind of like it kind of went like that a little bit back toward the right direction. You know, I think the biggest thing is like we've just been focusing in on a, a lot more of defense. You know, defense solves a lot of problems if you just can defend. Defend, take care of the basketball. I didn't think it, we did a good job of passing to the post. Our high low, I mean, we were there, we just couldn't get the passing. Uh, I think we're just in a rush. I, I think they need to calm down, breathe, relax, and make the play. I don't think we're doing a very good job of that. Um, you know, we're running that little quick hitter uh, because of the, you know, the youthfulness in the, the you know, they're, they're look, they, they can be extremely impatient. You know, Kendra took a lot of you know, advised jump shots, you know. We told her get to the mirror range or get 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 to get in the lane so good things can happen for you. So she did that and she ended up hitting a jump shot and then she hit a three ball that I thought was ill advised, but she hit it and then she shot another bad one. I mean, but she's gotta learn where the point, you know, where we are at different junctures of the game and what our needs are. We didn't need that three shot, you know, and that's what I explained to her and uh, she said, Yeah, coach. But you know, she didn't start with the fire that I thought she should have. So we wanted essence early. And then uh, I thought Essence really got us going with her energy. You know, this is Essence's time of the year. You know, she usually starts strong, tapers off in the middle, and then finishes strong. So I think Essence and Shell will be the difference in the tournament. Because when they're on, we're hard to defend. Because we just, they just create such uh, another dynamic for this team in terms of athleticism, energy, Attacking, getting to the mid-range shot. You got the long ball, Fred and Adrian and, and um, um, Kendra. You know, and then you got the bigs down on the block. So um, I like how we play. You know, I tell everybody we get everybody's a game. You know, we're we're pretty much uh, the Duke of the the Southwestern Athletic Conference. I mean, we we're that team you either love us or you hate us. You know, and you got a whole lot of people. You know, where we're, we're speaking ill. Uh, of Southern women's basketball last couple of days because of the loss on Thursday. You know, and I told the kids, I'd say, you know, some people made a reference that the wheels are coming off. You know, uh, you know, I told them, I said, you know, what happens when the wheels come off? One of the kids said, the motor keeps running. Another one said, well, hell, we pick up the wagon and tow it, coach. I said, well, that's what you got to do. You pick it up and we keep going. Because this program is bigger than one game. This program is about that tournament. That's what we're recognized for. Going to the tournament, getting to the championship game consistently and doing what we do there. So we're looking forward to the tournament going forward. We're looking forward to playing three games, three days in a row. we got to get out and get it. Um, I think that's going to benefit us because uh, we do have people that we can rotate in at different slots. So I think come, 
Saturday if we're fortunate enough to make it. I think we, you know, if everybody's happy, uh, healthy, I think we got a good shot at taking the state home. You all have done it three days, three times, and four days, and three times, and three days. What's the, what's the trick either way? I think the trick is staying focused as a unit. You know how well that cohesiveness is. I thought that uh, last year's team down the stretch we had some fragmented, some some fragments, and I thought they showed at a critical hour. Um, I think in, with this team, um, I think they're more together than the team was last year. They don't have the experience. They might not always show the toughness. But I think if we can show the toughness and if our guards can take care of the basketball, I like our chances. You all heard anything about Graham and a and No, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't pay attention. I, you know what? I'm, I'm one of the worst I, coaches I to ask about the other team, what they did. My staff usually comes in and say, oh, they did this one, they did that. But I think that game was at three. So they're probably oh, they're still, going. still going. Yeah, yeah. But I look for A&M to win that. I don't, I don't see uh, Grandma beating And that's at home, too, isn't it? Right. right. Yeah. They're going to be hard to beat over there. All right. Now, just wanted to get a recap on um, just you know, going forward, you know, going into the time you and you answer that well. Okay. Well, I think a couple things. One, when we go out to the tournament, we need to go in there with an attitude about who we are and what we represent. That's number one. Um, number two, we have to have consistent play from our guards. That's going to be a big factor, consistent play on both ends of the floor. Um, and I think, you know, uh, we got to stay healthy. I mean, we got to be, you know, Nisha tweaked her ankle and so did. Adrian and Jazz got elbowed in the thigh, so you know those little type of things we got to get rested up. Is that what she was the sleeve? The yeah, she got elbowed in practice though. She got elbowed in practice yesterday, so she's been a little hampered. But um, you know, I just I, I really really like this team's chances. I, I don't as I said all year long. I, I we're only getting about forty percent output. You know, if we ever could kick it up to eighty, we're, we're 15, 20 points better. But we can't turn the basketball over. Hey, Chris. And uh, we can't turn the basketball over. We got to take care of it. We got to be solid. And our bigs got to finish. You know, I thought Jamie missed some chippies um, that, that she, she's got to make for us. Especially that little baseline jump shot. That's her patented shot. She and Lanisha, they got to hit that. Lanisha hit a, a big one down there for us. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just happy that, um, you know, they came out with the energy that they did and, you know, had some mental let down, but they picked it back up and kept rolling. Appreciate it, Coach.